Hello and welcome to the screencast on publishing MATLAB M files. So what does publishing an M file actually mean? Well, you know when you make an M file, like the one you see in front of you here in the MATLAB editor, it's a text file and it's really easy to share, but only somebody with MATLAB can really see what it does. When we talk about publishing an M file in MATLAB, it means converting this text format into some other easy to share format, such as HTML, so that people who don't have MATLAB can see the code that you're writing, see all your comments in it, and see the output of your M file as well. It's a very powerful way to take your work and share it with the rest of the world. Let's see how this works. First of all, open up your favorite M file. This one here is the M file I happen to use in the part three screencast of command line plotting, where I made a bunch of subplots, as you can see. It has no comments in it just yet. If I go into the file menu in the editor and click, there's an option for publish command line plotting 3. There it is, publish command line plotting. Uh, that's simply the name of the M file, and your M file will be, name will be right here as well. Before you click that, go down to the one just below it for publish configuration and go to edit publish configurations. This will give you a quick tour of what we can actually do with publishing. The most important thing you see here in the screen is right here where it says output file format. The MATLAB comes with capabilities of taking M files and converting them into nice formats that are visible and readable for other people who don't have MATLAB, such as HTML, but also such as XML, even LaTeX, and PDF. We're going to focus primarily on HTML, since this is one of the most widely used formats of files we know. So let's go ahead and close. Now, if I just take a straight M file like you see here and don't do anything to it, no comments, no anything, and go File and Publish, a process is going to take place in the background and what you see here is the finished product. You can scroll down and you can see what's been generated here is a file that shows the code that was in my M file with the particular syntax highlighted in purple and the output of that file as well. And the thing to notice here is this is not an M file anymore, this is an HTML file. Uh, I can open this up in a web browser and I would like to show you that. I'm going to call up my Google Chrome web browser and go to File, Open File and I need to navigate to the directory where this was saved, which was in my MATLAB directory. And that is under, for me, that's under Documents, MATLAB. And you will find a folder in that uh, subdirectory called HTML. And inside there is se are several files that are related to what you just published. And here is command line plotting 3 HTML. If I double click on that, it's going to open it up. And again, I need to stress this is not MATLAB I'm looking at this in. This is a simple web browser. For me, it's Google Chrome. You can open it up in any web browser you like. So what you can do is once you make an M file to do something in MATLAB, you can publish it to HTML and then put the HTML, say, up on a website or publish it as a blog, or anything that you would normally use HTML for. Let's close this out, and close this out. Now, we can begin to add nice things to our M files and make the HTML even more attractive. For example, if I put in some comments, let's go in and pretend I'm putting some comments in for people to read the code. We start all comments with a percent sign, and I might say define the x variable here and just add comments where I would normally put them to make the code more human readable. So create, first plot, and so on. I want to do all of these. Second plot. And if I go, if I go and now publish, it's going to save the file and publish again. Now the HTML also shows the comments nicely highlighted in green there. It gets even better than that. If I go and I put a double percent sign. This is something we haven't done yet in an M file. Putting a double percent sign will create what's called a we'll call a, a cell of code. And you can see the comment is now, two things have happened. The comment is now in boldface and everything underneath it is sort of in yellow. So what I can do here is create sections in my M file that are highlighted. And if I click out of that section, you can see the different sections I'm clicking into are shaded yellow. So for example, I might set up a first section up here that says, define all variables and that creates a new section and then create first plot and then maybe put down another double comment to create second plot and so on. Now if I publish again notice before I publish I have one line of code here that is double commented and one line that is single commented. When I go to publish again the HTML has a few nice things in it that weren't in it before. Uh, for example all the lines that were double commented 
now show up in a nice little hyperlinked list up here. If I want to go straight to where I create the second plot, I just click that hyperlink and it takes me to it. I can go back up and find uh, all the commands I need to see. And in fact, every section is actually evaluated separately. As you can see, here is the section where I create only the first plot and all the other plots are created down below. Finally, if I go to the very, very top of the MATLAB M file, to the first line of the M file, there I am in line one, and add a double comment, such as subplots in the command line. What's going to happen now when I publish is that it puts a title. So the double commented line that appears in line one shows up as the title of my HTML. And all the double comments below it create sections that lead back to hyperlinks. And each section is evaluated step by step, and the output on each step is shown here. Just to show you, again, the effect of this, let's create third plot and so on. And publish one more time. And you can see when the create first plot section, only one plot shows up. In the create second plot section, only two plots show up, and so on. So we can also publish these M files, if I go back to publish configuration, as not only HTML, but XML, and even LaTeX. If you know a little bit of LaTeX, and select that and click publish, what will come up here is the LaTeX code that would generate this very same looking HTML. And so you can just simply copy and paste this LaTeX code into your favorite LaTeX editor and compile it, and it will, con it will create a LaTeX file, a DVI or PDF file, that will look just like this. So M-File Publishing is a very powerful way of sharing your work with people who don't have your software but who might benefit from your work. Thanks for watching.